it's Ropo guys and welcome to 200 days of Minecraft Dragonfire. So since I posted my first 100 days in Minecraft Dragonfire, another couple of cool YouTubers got on board and did the same. Collectively our four videos have almost 5 million views, proving that you guys absolutely love this mod and want to see more. So I have decided it is time for 200 days. We achieved so much in our first 100 days but there is still so much more to explore to learn and to discover in this crazy minecraft world we have new dungeons new mobs and of course new dragons to discover and this crazy frog dude yeah yeah he's, he's smoking a pipe but we want to set ourselves some hard challenges we want to go ahead and make sure that we discover tame and get all five variants of the night fury we also want to achieve Dragon Science Glory by getting one of the most unattainable dragons in the game, the Tree-Headed Hydra. With all that being said, we want to achieve some Minecraft goals, such as defeating the Wither Boss, making a beacon and discovering every biome there is to discover in these lands. If our first 100 days is anything to go by, this next 100 are going to be seriously special. So guys, smash a like rating on this video, sit back, relax, and enjoy 200 days in Minecraft Dragonfire. So this is it, day 101. To be honest, I didn't think I was gonna do a video on this. I done my 100 days, I was happy, but because of its success, I felt it was now time to go ahead and do 200 days here in my Dragonfire world. As you can see, I have got a lot of resources regarding food, chicken, pork, all that kind of good stuff that we need for this. So, day one was really about maintenance, getting things organized, getting my chests back in order, and getting ready for this epic adventure that was about to ensue. Oh yeah, and it was nasty out, so I just went to bed. So, next couple of days, I wanted to get straight down to business, so I went ahead and made myself a brand new diamond pickaxe with amazing enchantments. I got fortune, efficiency, and unbreaking. That thing was absolutely sick, so I was feeling good. This is gonna be good. I grabbed all of my cobblestone because I had a project. I wanted to make myself an XP farm. Basically, I need a lot of XP to use the waystones and get around in this world easily, so I got to work making this thing. I got some chests, I got some hoppers, and all the other materials that I was going to need to make this thing work. And I basically worked through the night and into the next day. Yes, it started raining again. Man, I really don't like when it rains. Anyway, I just kept building this thing. It did actually take a long time, but it was going to be worth it in the end. This was going to generate mobs for me. They were going to fall down. I was going to get whatever loot they dropped after I killed them and get all their delicious XP. It was a perfect plan. I knew it was going to be good, and I knew I was not going to regret using my first couple of days on this big project. Eventually, I got done, placing down the water for the mobs to drop down. Days 105 through 108 were all about the chicken. I was in the mood for building now, so I got to it. This was basically a plan to turn my one chicken farm into six chicken farms. It was going to be an industrial scale chicken farm ex extravaganza. Yeah, I, I don't really know what I'm talking about right now, but basically I made a chicken farm and I made it really big. Now, I don't claim to be a good builder, so this actually took me a very, very, very long time. I mean, it was confusing. I, I'm not sure which way was which. It's backwards. This one's this way. The hopper goes there. It was so much hassle. Plus, chickens kept on getting in my way, so I had to kill them as I was going along but I mean eventually I did get this thing finished so it was time to get the chickens up into their new home follow me boys haha <laughs> trapped forever anyway yeah I got the chickens in and it was done I had a chicken farm now I could be proud of we are gonna make so many dragon treats day 109 like I said, I'm not a good builder, so let's not get too excited here. Day 109, I realized that my mob spawner wasn't really working. So that was an issue that I was going to have to try fix. And also, I forgot to place some of the blocks in my chicken farm, and it wasn't actually working, so I got to fixing that. That was working, but the mob farm wasn't. Okay, not as a successful start as I thought. 
So just like that, 10 days were up already. I knew I needed to get this adventure started and started quick. We wanted to be able to go and explore and find everything that this mod has to offer. So I made some fireworks and headed straight on out because I do have my Elytra wings from the first 100 days. I did come across a Bewilderbee straight away, which was crazy. He shot by my head and actually nearly killed me. That was insanely close. But then seconds later, I found a new addition to the mob, a crab obelisk. This thing was pretty cool. It spawned a giant boss crab, but I have epic armor and weapons and I was able to kill it instantly and it dropped a water essence. Now we're going to see what this thing does later on in the video, but it was a mega find straight away. So I got home, made a little display kind of wall thing for it and uh, yeah I was super happy with that find. I finished off the day by making myself some night vision potions and a nice fishing rod. Just cause. Day 112 was a fun one. I started off by flying out again using my Elytra and fireworks to get back to the location I was the day before. This is why I made my night vision potion. I wanted to be able to see underwater a little better because yes, there are now sharks in the game. This dude was crazy. He broke my shield straight away and was attacking ferociously. But thankfully I killed him and I got exactly what I was looking for, a shark tooth. Also, I went ahead and killed some of these new jellyfish to get their, um, jelly. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. But anyway, these were components that I needed for the recipe to match with that water essence stone. Again, you will see why later on in the video. Anyway, I then made a boat and headed out to sea because I saw this. It was a sea shocker nest and a sea shocker egg, so I grabbed it. Try say that real fast. Sea shocker, sea shocker egg. Anyway, I then um, caught a shark, which was uh, pretty funny. I headed home. So day 113, I didn't really have a plan. So I went exploring and I found this. This was an Archangel Dragon. Brand new to the mod, because as some of you guys may know, the Dragonfire mod gets updated every single month with new additions and new dragons. So when I did the first 100 days, this wasn't even in my Minecraft, but now it is. So epic, so it's a brand new dragon. The rest of the day, I just flew around to see if I could find any more cool stuff, and I did. I found myself an Ace Dragon Nest. These guys are really cool, and I didn't have one yet, so I grabbed the egg and uh, that was the day but I didn't actually sleep that night so I just kept going it was day 114 and I found a night fury nest I couldn't believe it I obviously have night furies already from the first 100 days I have the flame fury but the mod is new and there is more updates so I was gonna need more night fury eggs and I found one without really even looking so I was pretty happy with that Right beside it, there was also a Fire Nation encampment, so I decided to take these guys on. I hadn't had a fight yet, so I was feeling... Well, actually, yeah, I did have a fight. I took on that shark and I took on that crab. But, I mean, I didn't fight other people. None of them are people, Robo. Okay, anyway, yeah, um, I got a lot of resources from that as well, so I was having a good time. I decided to just keep going and keep looking around to see if there was anything cool. I then came across a new village, which was nice. It means I can get home pretty easily using the Waystone. Right beside the village, there was a redwood forest. Again, this is something new. And it's going to be something to do with the Night Furies as well. But I don't want to get sidetracked just yet. So we will come back to that at a later stage. So it was time to just use the Waystone and get back home. So days 115 and 116, I was back home and I needed to get these eggs out of my shulker and into my dragon egg display room thing. Yeah, I don't know what to call that. All I know is that it's absolutely epic. Anyway, up on my little crafting um, display unit. I don't really know what to call on any of these things. Anyway, okay. I drank an invisibility potion and realized that I had an infestation of sharks right outside my, my house. I mean, it, it was like a little shark tank pit thing. It was insane. There was hundreds of them. But anyway, I was able to go ahead and get a tooth because I need three of these things. I now had two. I then got into the biggest epic shark battle that anyone has ever seen. And I eventually got another tooth. They are so annoying. So I celebrated by eating one of them. <laughs> anyway, I then saw some crab because this was going to be another part of the recipe. A crab leg. 
I'm sure there's a lot of you right now that are like, what in the world is he doing? What is he collecting? And why is he killing crab? Why does he have crab, crab's legs and shark teeth and jelly? And okay, it's all part of this epic recipe, okay? This is it right in front of me right now. If I put that into a Fury Temple Anvil, it will give me a Water Stone. If I then fuse the Water Stone to a Night Fury, epicness will happen. Okay, so next day we get on the road to make this epicness happen. I jump on my man Bane, my Flame Fury, and head out to try and find a Fury Temple. But, as always with this mod, you get kind of distracted. I found myself a bee nest and decided to take the egg because, um, a bee dragon that is, because I don't think I had one. Anyway, I went back out on Bane and I did in fact find myself a fury temple. So I got down, went in and checked it out. The anvil was there and intact, so I was ready to go. I had the location, so I just needed all of the items. I headed back home and as I started to grab them, I got attacked out of nowhere by a red clang. This thing was insane. It just kept on coming for me. Hit me with a nice shot, but I was able to, whoa, fight back and uh, eventually take him out. He destroyed my display, but thankfully none of the items were destroyed. I decided it was time for bed. Next day, I actually thought, I better get this Night Fury incubated. So I put it into the incubator and realized that I had no lava, no fuel source. So I had to go back to the nether to get my lava. Filled up at least eight buckets and I was ready to go back until this guy took a shot at me. And then I did this. Boom. Return to sender. <laughs> I thought I actually got that challenge in the last one, but um, looks like I didn't. But I got it now, so I was pretty happy with that. I headed back home, filled up the incubator with the lava and got the Night Fury incubating. It was actually a long day, and I was tired, so back to bed I went. So the next day I realized that the Night Fury egg had not fully incubated, so I needed to get stuff done while that did its thing. I went to the Night Fury temple once more and got out my shulker box and all the ingredients I needed. Basically the last 10 days boiled down to this point. I was gonna go ahead and craft myself a water stone, using all these ingredients that I worked so hard for. It was there. That was it. The water stone. It was ready to be crafted. The anvil did its thing and there it was. It was in my hand. It was looking epic and man was I excited. So I got back home as quick as I could and grabbed the Night Fury egg from the incubator as it was ready. It was incubated and ready to be hatched. I headed straight outside and decided I wanted to call this thing Poseidon, God of the Sea or I think that's what that is. But anyway, this guy looked a little bit crazy. It ran out straight away and ate an egg. So I was like, yeah, I'm not wasting any time. I am getting this water stone and turning this night fury. Boom. Into a water fury. Oh my days. Are you kidding me? This is one of the coolest dragons I have ever seen. I mean, the modelers and artists did an outrageous job on this guy. He is absolutely insane, even though this version is a she. Anyway, I made myself an orb, gave this guy some dragon treats, and decided to call it a night. But I had to have one last look at her because I thought she was the most majestic dragon I have ever seen. I think I have a new favorite. Okay, so that was a big win. The next six days, not so much. I realized that my mob spawner wasn't working, so I needed to fix it. First thing I did was sort out my dragons so they wouldn't be in my inventory because I knew this task was going to be long, arduous, and so much hassle. So anyway, the mob spawner wasn't really working because it was at basically ground level because I dug it into the side of a mountain. I wasn't really thinking when I made it because I didn't really know, but I was determined to fix it. So I went ahead and did it. I dug out the entire mountain around my mob spawner. It took me forever, but I did it and I was happy I, was, I did it. And and yeah, it was done. I, I still don't think it works. Ah. Days 126 to 127, I wanted to make this place look a little bit nicer and a little bit cooler. So I went ahead and made some paths. I also then went ahead and emptied out my chicken farm, which was 
pretty bountiful. I had chicken for days, bro, so I brought it back inside, ready to make dragon treats at a later stage. I also did some more work on my mob spawner, and again, I don't think it was working. I hate that thing. But anyway, I went ahead and finished off this little path area because I wanted to make something. And basically, I was making a path to another house that was up here in my village. I did a bit of work on this in the last 100 days, but I never showed it on camera because basically I didn't really know why I did it and I didn't use it. So um, yeah, we'll get to it in the next couple of days, but there was the path up to this house. Okay, so 128. We are here and we are heading up to this house that we built this lovely little pathway up to. We gave it a new door and we headed on inside. Hello, my captured little minions. Okay, basically I made this area for traders in the last 100 days, but never really used it because I didn't really need to. And the fact that um, 1.12 is not great for trading, I just didn't really bother. But this time I wanted to trade. So I went ahead and used some of the coal that I had already gotten to get some more emeralds. Then I made some emerald blocks. So basically the plan was to create a lot of mineral blocks so I could make myself a beacon. It was a good day, the plan was set in motion, but I decided to head to bed. And then I had an idea. Basically an idea that I thought was absolutely epic. So I went ahead and got myself some magma blocks up there at the Gronkle Nest and came back down to the obelisk to head to the Darklands. Okay, so basically I need bones for dragon treats and the best way to get bones is from the wolves in the Darklands. But the only thing is they're super annoying and they always follow you and without knowing it there can be like 50 of these guys trying to kill you and more often than not they actually do kill you. So this was my plan. I was going to create some sort of a trap thing. I was going to try lure them into this little laneway. The ice would bring them skating down towards the lovely magma blocks of doom. And they would all die. So I did it. I made myself a little hut. They would follow me and they would all get killed on the magma blocks. Now, originally, I was like, yo, I'm a genius. But it actually didn't work as well as I thought it would have. I got a few bones, but they were smart. They just went around the corner and it didn't really work. But then I added water and they start flowing down towards this magma block floor of death. They all died and I got their bones. It was beautiful. I felt vindicated for my epic little idea. I created some sort of a monster death trap. Okay, so on 134, basically I needed to reap the rewards of all of my hard work. I mean, I grinded for so long for all of these things. I made dragon treats and for one reason and one reason only, and that was to level up my beautiful Poseidon, my water fury. She was so good and she was definitely one of my favorite dragons. She turned into an adolescent at level 25, but I kept on going. I got her up to level 50 and I was ready to get on her back and fly into the... Okay, what's going on here? She's not flying. I wasn't sure what was happening, so I basically gave her more dragon treats. Got her up to level 60, but I think she was glitched. Okay, so I've got to be honest, I was kind of bummed that Poseidon couldn't fly. I mean, this dragon was pretty much my new favorite dragon, and she couldn't fly. I wasted so many dragon treats getting her all the way up to level 75, but it turns out that she was kind of glitched and I just needed to restart. And then she could fly. So I was happy, but at the same time, I used a lot of dragon treats on her. She was now level 75, which was pretty sick, but I mean, she probably could have flew at like 50. Anyway, later that day, I came across some poisonous frogs in the swamp nearby. I decided to kill them, but then it gave me the thought, I have actually never gone near any of the frog dungeons in this. So I think that's what the new plan is. Go check out frog dungeons. Yes, yes, you did in fact hear me correct. I did say frog dungeon. Okay, there's frog dungeons. It's basically a meme dragon, but it's pretty cool. So we're going in to take a look. So with all the excitement, I actually forgot to record. That's why this is like six days, but the parts you're going to see are probably only be about maybe two days. Basically, there's a lot of work you got to do before you get in here. You got to kill a lot of ninja and stuff like that to get a special key to get into this dungeon. But unfortunately, I forgot to record. Anyway, when I was in here, I did in fact kill a lot more ninja and a lot more crazy looking frog creatures. 
they drop frog tokens and other frog legs, and I mean, that's a frog mage, and yes, that is a frog sitting down by a tree smoking a pipe. Okay, this is insane. I do understand that, but it's Minecraft and it's epic and I love it, so here we go. Turns out this old wise frog dude is a traitor, and I traded some of these tokens to get myself a ninja outfit. Well, I got two pieces of it anyway. Then I ended up heading towards the end of this dungeon. There's a lot of heavy door keys needed to get through these heavy doors, but when you do, you get to the Frogon Lair. Yes, I did say Frogon. That is a mix between a frog and a dragon. Fr fr frog Frogon, or maybe it's Frogron. Frogon, Frogron. Yeah, it's a dragon frog. Look how ridiculous that thing is. I love it. <laughs> so anyway, we went ahead and checked in this chest and we did actually get the Frogon Egg, which is pretty fun. Also, one little dragon treat as a bonus. Man, that was a crazy few days in a crazy part of this Minecraft mod, but it was super fun. I now had a frog dragon thing. Okay, I'm going home. This is too crazy. So, truth be known, I did spend a lot of time on this frog dungeon, and I got two pieces of the ninja armor. So, hey, what's an extra couple of days? I want to get the other two pieces. So, I got to it. And as you can see, this is exactly what I had to do the first time, but I forgot to record. But here it is again. I had to kill these frog spearsmen and ninjas and all sorts of crazy fools to get the key to actually get in here and take out the frog ninja. Hey, wise old frog, smoking uh, pipe. This guy always makes me feel like I'm hallucinating, but I'm not. This is actually real. But anyway, I got enough tokens to go ahead to buy the leggings and the boots, and I had the full set of armor now, so I was happy out. We then went ahead to the end of the dungeon to take a look into the chest, but this time we got no egg, just showing that we were very lucky the first time. That guy is just hilarious, it's insane. But anyway, we needed to get out of there, so we did. I ended up calling on my man, Poseidon, to come down and get me. My man, it, it's a girl, I always do that. But anyway, I did see a new Archangel nest, so I finished off the couple of days by going up and grabbing the egg. So let's be honest, the last couple of days were a bit crazy, but they were super fun. So on day 144, I decided to make myself a lovely little armor stand to get my new armor down. And check it out. The coolest little ninja armor you have ever seen. I was super happy with it, but I didn't want to stand there all day just looking at the armor. I needed to get outside and go ahead and incubate the most epic dragon egg in the game. The Frogon Egg. Okay, it's not really epic, but I dropped off the other eggs, and uh, yeah, that thing was incubated, ready to be hatched. So, I put away my other armor, the Lycan armor, which, let's be honest, is unbelievably cool, but I wanted to try something new, because this ninja armor needed to be enchanted, because it actually comes with some OP buffs. Anyway, I got some good enchantments on it, and then I was able to put it on, go outside, and test these buffs. Turns out, it gets Jump Boost 2 and Speed 2. So I really was a ninja. Okay, so the game is called Minecraft. So you do actually have to mine every now and then. So on days 145 and 146, I decided to just mine because I ran out of a lot of things. I had run out of lapis, which was the main thing, but I, I ended up actually finding a lot. I don't really particularly like mining. Some people find it really relaxing, but I find it just a little bit tedious. I mean, it takes ages. But this time, I was actually having a good time because I was finding a lot of stuff. I mean, I was even finding diamonds. Yay! Diamonds! Anyway, I decided to get out of there, I built straight up, and turns out it was actually right beside my house, so happy days. I went in, got organized, started smelting, and went to bed! So after I do a bit of hard graft, I always feel like I deserve some sort of a treat. I need a reward. So today, my reward is going to be hatching my Frogon egg. And yes, I am obviously going to call it Kermit, even though it's a female. Okay, th there's not much to say about this thing. <laughs> it is the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen, but he likes carrots, so I got him some and brought it back. Kermit, you are my frog dragon. It's just a frog with wings. Alright, so day 148, I actually got a lot done. It started off with feeding my man Kermit, because he's actually my favorite now. He's so cool. He's not my favorite. Anyway, I got together some of the resources that I had mined the previous days and got some blocks. I then went outside and took down this little house, because I don't need it and it was in my way. And all the villagers are trapped anyway, so anyway. Yeah, I started to put down redstone blocks, because redstone is a mineral block. 
I thought that you can make beacons out of redstone. I don't know why I thought that. But anyway, yeah, I went ahead and traded with the guys some more to get more emeralds so I could get some more emerald blocks. This was going to be the top of the beacon. I think it's going to look pretty cool, so I was happy I was able to do that with my boys. Anyway, I got the emerald onto the top. It was looking pretty cool. Obviously, at this stage, I didn't know that redstone wasn't going to work, but yeah, okay, whatever. All right. Days 149 and 150, I started off by mending my shovel because it was a good one and I wanted to keep it. I then kind of decided I was just going to mine. Basically, I had started off the beacon and I kind of wanted to get it done, so I needed to go and mine. And mine I did. I mined and mined and mined some more, collecting as much redstone as I could. Yeah, okay, at this stage I still thought that redstone could be used, so this is pretty embarrassing. I, I spent like two days getting redstone. Ah, my god. Seriously. Anyway, yeah, it was a long couple of days. And then it was time for the second half of our second 100 days. My frog was cooking. I don't know what's happening. He was literally just burning alive in there. Anyway, I put down the blocks that I had created onto my now big beacon that wasn't going to work with that redstone. I found out that later. But anyway, I went ahead and made an orb to get my crazy frog out of the flames. He was literally burning himself alive. I have no idea what that guy's all about. Then I decided to use a waystone to get to the closest possible one, which was this desert one. I wanted to take the waystone because I didn't want the hassle of building myself a new one. So I took that one and flew home on Poseidon. It wasn't that far, and it was a nice scenic route, so it looked pretty cool. Anyway, I got back home, and that was that day done. Okay, so the next four days, I was gonna go on a little bit of a mission. I decided to get myself some food and head straight into the nether. I have been working on a beacon, so therefore, I am gonna need a nether star. And you guys know, the only way to get a nether star is by defeating the wither boss. So I was going to need some wither skulls. So I found myself a fortress and went on the hunt for wither skeletons. I found one straight away on the top of this place and I could not believe it. Literally, the first one I come across, I get a wither skull. That is like the luckiest thing that has ever happened to me. Anyway, one down, two to go. Happy days. I wanted to find another fortress, and there was actually one right beside the original one. Kind of crazy, but happy days. Let's get in here and see if we can find some more skeletons. I did. I found lots of them, and I killed them all. And none of them dropped anything. Oh, dude, I did this for so long. I killed so many of them, but then finally, I got my second one. And then, this. One eternity later. It literally took an eternity, but I finally killed one that dropped his skull, and I had three of them. I spent five days down here. It was insane. But this is why I wanted the waystone, so I could just put it down straight away and get home when I was done. So I had all the components I needed to take on the wither boss. So I've got to be honest, I was a little bit wary of this fella, so I had to prepare. I made myself a shield, made sure I had all the potions I need, and made myself some golden apples just in case. I wanted to pick a location where I felt I was going to be safe, well, as safe as possible, so I went to the area that was once the most dangerous place in Minecraft, but I was gonna make an underground fortress in the end to make sure that I could contain the wither boss. It was a good plan, and I thought it was gonna work. So I dug out a little square that basically he was gonna find it extremely hard to escape from, so I could get off my shots and defeat this guy. So I got ready, drank my potions, and the most epic battle you have ever seen ensued. Well, I mean, it, it was epic enough. I spawned him, he kind of got stuck down in that little square, and I just start shooting. Ha <laughs> ha! It was bow shot after bow shot, all hitting their targets, dropping this guy's health slowly but surely. He was trying to get to me as hard as he could, and then he did. I had to back up. Next thing I knew, I was actually in a full-scale battle with this thing, and he was doing damage. I had to back up once more and eat a golden apple just in case. But then I went back in. I went all in. I went straight in and went for it. And before I knew it, I did it. I took him out. The wither boss was down and the nether star was mine. I kind of just made it though. Only realized I only had three hearts left, so it was a little bit closer than I wanted, but it looked as if my little area worked. And then of course I did a victory lap. 
And it was day 157, I was feeling good, so I started off by making my beacon. There it is, the most beautiful block in Minecraft. I put it on, and there she was, glowing in amazement. I made the advancement, I was feeling epic. I grabbed the diamond, put it into this thing to power it up, <laughs> and then I realized that the bottom section wasn't working because you can't use redstone. Yes, it's a mineral block, but no, it does not work in beacons. I don't know why I thought it... Did. I'm dumb, I'm silly, I'm, I'm stupid, but whatever, okay? So I had to get rid of it, but at least the beacon was working. But I knew I was going to have to work harder to get another bottom section, so it meant more mining. But anyway, I fixed my pickaxe and made myself some dragon treats to finish off the day. Ah. <sighs> Happy that I completed one of my goals from the start, I set out on the next one. I got myself some food and then replenished that food by feeding it hay. That makes no sense, but what are you going to do? Anyway, I headed towards this savanna area because I knew that there was a redwood forest nearby. Now, this was the beginning of my new goal, my new adventure to get a new knife fury. These ants are absolutely crazy, they are huge and they do serious damage, but I knew I had to take a lot of them out because one of their drops is a seriously important drop. So I killed these first couple, when I say couple I think there was about 10 of them, but I didn't get lucky. They didn't drop what I needed, so I had to keep going. I had to keep killing these guys. I used my poison frog staff, I used my sword, I used absolutely everything and there it was. Finally, one of these guys dropped dropped what I needed. It was a forest shard. So, as you may have noticed, the Redwood Forest is a crazy, crazy place. I found this mushroom house. Yes, it's a house made from mushrooms with some sort of a little mushroom inside. It really is crazy. But anyway, this guy dropped me one of the shards, so I was happy out. There was also a couple in the chest. Nice. I was making moves now. I was getting a couple of shards. I needed eight of these things. So as I was looking around, I also found a Night Fury temple right beside this forest. This was big, because we were going to need one of these to create the new Night Fury that we were looking for. Anyway, I saved that location and went again to try find more shards. These little vial the flower things, I don't really know what they were called, but yeah, they're crazy too. I tried to kill them, but no drops. Then I found a normal house. Nothing really inside so yeah whatever uh, I just left again and then outside I came across another end and thankfully he dropped me another shirt so slowly but surely I was getting there close by there was another village so I decided to go ahead and take this waystone later I was gonna place it at the night fury temple for easy access so the days went on and I still had to keep on trying to get these shards these dudes were seriously strong and I had to eat golden apples. I had to go get more food. Then I came across these guys. I mean, how many different mobs are in this thing? These little puma crazy cats are trying to kill me. And I mean, it's insane. They're super strong. But thankfully, I got the final piece of the puzzle. I got number eight. Shard number eight. I mean, what is this thing? Wow, do you hear that sound? So weird. Yeah, anyway, I had enough shards. So I was happy out. I then went back to the Night Fury Temple to get set up. I put all the shards away into a chest and I put the waystone down for easy access to get back here when we found the final piece of the puzzle. So I jumped back on Bane and headed out through the night to see if I could find another Redwood Forest. So on day 164, I managed to actually find another redwood forest, but as I looked around, I could not find what I was looking for. But in front of me, there was another archangel nest, so I jumped off and grabbed that egg. I now have three, four, maybe even five of these things. I think it's only three. Anyway, I did find another redwood forest, and then I actually found what I was looking for. This is the bear kin obelisk. This is another boss battle and he had the final component I needed to get the new Night Fury. So I got ready, tapped him and used a pretty epic gamer move by hitting him straight away with some poison so he was getting damaged the whole time. I mean what a move. Anyway, I went in. This guy was crazy, scratching me with his claws, but I was able to take him out pretty much instantaneously because I'm a boss myself. Anyway, I picked up his drop. This was the forest essence, the centerpiece to what I needed to create the forest stone to create the forest night fury. 
I was buzzing and it was time to go back to the temple. Eventually on day 165 I found myself another village with a waystone. So it meant I could get straight back to the Fury Temple as I laid the waystone there previously. I had everything I need so I grabbed all the shards from the chest and got ready to craft the epic forest stone. Everything was in, all I had to do was click it. So, I did. There it was, the forest stone ready to be infused with a night fury to create the forest fury. Another challenge, another quest completed. I was feeling so good and happy. I went back home. Man, this was really... Why is there a sheep and chicken in my house? Okay, how did these get in here? Minecraft is so weird sometimes. Okay, anyway, I went outside and this is where you realize that you're getting tired and delirious. I made some sort of a wooden thing. Pitchfork and put the stone out. Okay, I'm going to bed. What is happening? Anyway, the next day I woke up with a fresh head and decided to see how many of these Archangel Dragon Eggs I actually had. The answer was three. I thought I had a little bit more than that, but I only had three. Anyway, I did have a plan for those things, so I set them down close to the incubator. It was now time to fly off and see if I could find a savannah to go ahead and find a Night Fury. But, of course, you get distracted along the way, and I found myself a squirrel egg. I wasn't sure if I had one of these or not, so I decided to go down and grab it. Plus, there was a couple of diamonds right beside it as well, so I mined those. Anyway, went on, and then I found a nightlight. Grabbed that egg as well, because why not? Kept on going, and I mean, kept on going, and going, and going. It took me days upon days before I found a fresh savanna that I could look around. And thankfully, I found it. This actually took way longer than I thought it would, but I found a Night Fury nest, the Night Fury egg, exactly what I needed. So I carefully grabbed this thing, making sure it didn't fall into lava, and mined the diamond beside the egg. I was happy out, I had the Night Fury ready to be infused with the forest stone. Anyway, I headed back out because I was a long, long way from home. Oh yeah, then I got distracted, found a temple, got some bones, so uh, yeah. Whatever. Found a village and teleported back home. Decided to get the Night Fury egg straight into the incubator, but then realized that it had no fuel. It was time to go back to the nether to do a little lava run. Got down to the lava, filled up all the buckets, got back up, went back inside and filled the incubator. Oh my goodness, such a laborious task, but it has to be done. The Night Fury egg was incubating and I was going to bed. The next day was an exciting one. As you can see, my Night Fury egg was in fact incubated, ready to be hatched. I headed outside with some dragon treats and got ready to get this thing born. I was gonna call it Amazon. Well, it is a forest fury in the making, so I thought Amazon was a pretty fitting name. Biggest forest, rainforest in the world, and I don't have to explain myself, it's a cool name. Anyway, I fed this thing and I decided to feed it some dragon treats. The last guy kind of glitched out, so I wanted to get this guy leveled up and flying before I actually gave him the forest stone. I did that, and actually at level 40, he started flying straight away, so I was pretty happy. I gave him a few more treats, got him up to level 50, and decided to grab the forest stone. And I decided to hit Amazon with it. And this is what happened. She disappeared. Oh my god, I panicked. I didn't know where she was. She was nowhere to be seen. I was I was going mad and then, okay, she was just behind me. Hey, hey, check it out. A forest fury. Another one of my goals hit. This thing looked absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at her wings. They look like gigantic leaves as she floats through the sky. She was beautiful. Don't forget from the first 100 days, we've got Skeletor and the Flame Fury Bane as well. We now had four Fury variants. Absolutely epic. I decided to finish off that day by going ahead and fixing up my beacon because I was determined to make sure that this thing had three layers after my whole redstone incident. Okay, so it was time. Days 173 to 174, the most epic couple of days we were going to see in this adventure. It was crazy. It was insane. We got ready and we mined uh, for two days. It's, it's so boring, dude. Uh, anyway, okay, so I got a lot of ores, came back up after the two days and smelted them and went to bed. That was a big lie. It wasn't epic.
So we were officially into the last quarter of the second 100 days and I knew that I had a new challenge that I hadn't really talked about yet. So I went ahead and got the materials I needed to make myself a nature's compass. This is a mod that I added to my mod pack basically because I could not find a jungle biome anywhere. And I mean I had searched so long for the savannah and I thought I would come across a jungle as well but I just could not find one anywhere it was insane so I got this mod made myself the jungle compass and found coordinates to a jungle biome because that is where we were going to find new dragons to complete a new mission so after traveling 6,000 blocks or so I finally and I mean finally found my first jungle biome and the search began and it didn't take too long check this out i found one of the first dragons that i was looking for this was the folly falcon a green dragon that lives in the jungle and has two well other variants there's three falcon type dragons and we needed all three of them i had the first one but it was time to keep on searching so i got bane B Bane, get back here. Anyway, I got Bane and headed out to find more jungles to see if I could find more of these falcon dragons. In the process, I made an advancement. It was um, adventure time. I think it was visiting loads of biomes. I literally never got that before. I've been playing Minecraft for like five years. Anyway, yeah, so check it out. We got up to the storm falcon nest that was above this jungle biome. I now had two of the falcon eggs two out of three. There was one more to find. So I put away the storm falcon and got going again to find another jungle biome to find the last falcon. And it was pretty easy to find because the, yeah, the blaze falcon does exactly what it says. It blazes the place up. Fire and yeah, they, yeah, they're crazy. Okay, I knew these guys were crazy, but I decided to just jump down and see if I could get this egg safely pretty quickly. It didn't go that way. These dudes attacked me straight away. They were not happy that I was trying to take the egg. They start shooting me, shooting fire at me. Like, it was absolutely insane. So I had to do the unthinkable and go and kill both of them. Rip, Blaze, Falcon 1, and Blaze, Falcon 2. They were both dead, but I now had their egg. And I'm super selfish, so I didn't care. That is pretty selfish, actually. I killed two of them just to get their egg. Wow, I'm super mean. Anyway, I had all three falcon eggs, and that was the most successful few days that I had had to date. I wanted to celebrate, so I decided to get myself a parrot. I fed this guy 13 seeds, and he still didn't love me, which was weird. So I went ahead and got five more. Uh, he still didn't love me, so then he annoyed me, and I killed him. Am I evil? I I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I jumped back on Bane and decided to make the long journey home, but it was successful, so I didn't care. Good morning, Minecraft. It was day 181. I decided to start by putting away the compass. Man, I love that thing. If it wasn't for it, I wouldn't have found any of the falcon dragons. I then went outside and tried to finish off my beacon. Couldn't quite get there, but it was coming on and it was looking good. I got the blaze falcon into the incubator, but of course I ran out of fuel, so I had to get more lava, but then it actually was incubated. Step one complete. I then got the folly falcon and went out outside put it into the water incubator because it needed the water incubator and that started to get incubated i then went ahead and took down this fence and placed some dirt i don't know why i'm showing you this bit interesting okay anyway then it was um actually incubated so it was time for the storm falcon to go in dude what a successful day three incubated dragons oh well, no that wasn't incubated yeah i was going to bed the next day, I actually started off by mining some coal. Again, super boring, but I needed it because I wanted to trade with the guys again to get more emeralds so I could actually go ahead and finish off my beacon once and for all. I had a lot of diamonds and I decided, what the hey, let's just turn them into blocks and put it down and get this beacon done. But it still wasn't done. Okay, so the Storm Falcon was in fact then incubated, so I grabbed the tree guys and headed over to a new area that I had built. This was going to be the nursery. A cool little section that I could have little baby dragons. It was going to be super cute. So I was happy with that, but I wanted to hatch them during the day, so I decided it was time to go back to bed. 
So on day 183, we were going to go ahead and hatch three brand new dragons. The first of which was Branch. I couldn't think of a name, so I called him Branch. Then we had Electra, which was actually a pretty cool name. And then we had Pyro, which obviously is a pretty cool name. Okay, I mean, I, I think I'm doing pretty good with the names this 100 days. I know Branch is a terrible name, but maybe it will turn into one of those things that's like, hats ah, funny and now it's actually a really good name. Yeah, I've decided Branch is a super cool name. Anyway, I have these three brand new Falcon Dragons. They are absolutely beautiful, but the goal is to get them all to, oh my God, level 100. Yeah. I actually have to get all three of these guys to level 100 so I can get their DNA. Okay, we're gonna get to that. It's gonna be amazing. Anyway, so I went to my chicken farm and it actually turns out it was doing excellent. There was like chicken for days. I was super happy, so I turned them into dragon treats with what remaining bones I had. I ended up with 44 dragon treats. Now I know you're thinking. Ropo, you need another 267 dragon treats to get these guys up. Oh, well. Ah, so you know what time it is. I had to spend the next five days in the Darklands killing wolves. Striking them down, one by one. Killing wolves. Then killing more wolves, and then killing wolves, and killing wolves, and then killing wolves. I killed wolves, then killed some more wolves, then killed wolves, and I killed wolves. Okay, I'll have to stop that now. Anyway, yeah, I, I, I killed a lot of wolves, and then got their bones, and got their XP, and got their keys, and it, it just took so long. But eventually, I did actually have a crazy amount of bones, so it was time to head back home. I think I had like three or four stacks, so happy days. I went back inside, put away all the keys, and got those bones and infused them with the chicken to make dragon treats. I achieved. Day 189 was going to be dedicated to using all of these dragon treats. Look how many I had. That's so good, man. But yeah, I had to then go ahead and get all of these falcon dragons up to level 100. It took me some time but the first one there was branch absolutely cool i love it folly falcon level 100 next we got electra all the way up to level 100 these dragons were actually beautiful then i went ahead and got pyro up to level 100 all of these guys were looking absolutely epic but turns out they're all absolutely insanely crazy as well like check this out they all just started attacking each other and me <laughs> It was in nuts, man. Look at this. It's just it's just flames and fire everywhere. Okay, Branch, back in you go. I mean, I had to get them all back in the orbs. I knew these guys were crazy, but I didn't think they were this crazy. Oh, and then I mined for a day. You guys don't want to see that. Okay, so on to day 191, I woke up and headed straight into my dragon science room to grab my DNA extractor. I then went ahead and made some DNA orbs because I was going to need a lot of DNA in the orbs. Okay, so then I dug out a little section to make myself a little dragon containment pen situation because basically all the falcon dragons were insane if i put them out they were just gonna fly away and kill each other and yeah okay so i needed to put them somewhere don't ask me why this actually took me so long it just did i, I it literally took me a whole day it, it's like a tiny little shed why did it take me so long oh, i don't know weird anyway yeah you know, i finished it and went to bed so day 192 was a really, really fun one. I mean, I achieved a lot. I went ahead and got the remaining blocks I needed to finish off my beacon, and I've got to admit, it was looking super cool, and I now had strength. Oh man, I'm achieving so much. It's so good. That thing looks epic as well, by the way. So it was then time to go ahead and extract the DNA from my falcons. First up was Pyro, the Blaze Falcon. I gave him a little hit of the extractor and I then had the DNA of this Blaze Falcon. So I was feeling super excited about this. I then went ahead and got Electra's DNA. We now had Storm Falcon DNA. And finally, on to Branch. What a name. We now had folly falcon dna all three falcon dnas were obtained so the next step was to go to the dna combiner put all three dnas in and let the magic happen 
We had all three falcons in, and before you knew it, we now have the Hydra Egg. This is definitely the hardest dragon in the mod to obtain, so I was so excited I had it. But then I realized I had one more dragon to get as well. I needed to get more DNA from Electra. I had Storm DNA, which now could be infused with Night Fury DNA. I had this from the first 100 days, so I got them back into the DNA combiner again to create this, the Storm Fury. This would be my final Fury. I had all five variants now. Absolutely epic. I love dragon science. It is insane. But I was so happy, achieving so much. And then I finished off the day by getting my frog spear enchanted. Yeah, huh, that was a good way to end the day. New day, day 193, and I was ready to crack the Storm Fury egg. This machine is so epic, and I was able to get this thing out ready to be hatched. I also put the Hydra egg back into it because I knew that was going to take a long time. I then went ahead, put away some of the dragons just to clean up my inventory a little bit, but here he was, Cyclone. Woohoo! the storm fury this guy looked absolutely epic i now had all five variants of the night fury i had the storm fury the forest fury the water fury the flame fury and the bone fury all five furies so epic what an achievement i was super proud of it so on day 194 it was time to get proud of something else as well i cracked this egg the hydra egg and it was now ready to hatch this in my opinion is the hardest dragon to obtain and there it was the three-headed hydra dragon absolutely majestic i felt there was only one name i could name this thing snap crackle and pop i mean come on what a three-o <laughs> this guy looks so good, so I decided to feed him up some dragon treats with Cyclone, and man, I felt so good with what I had achieved. This guy is absolutely insane, and so, so much work went into getting him. So let's be honest, I have achieved so much in this second 100 days here in my Minecraft Dragonfire world, but I was not finished yet. I wanted to try and get a rare variant of a dragon. So the most amount of eggs I had was the Archangel. So I decided to go get more. I went and found as many as I could over the next two days and I ended up with about seven of them. Anyway, I kind of got distracted as well while I was doing that and wanted to check out my new spear. Turns out it's pretty sick. Nice. Anyway, I was flying along and thank goodness I was over water because my Elytra wings broke. You know that I used those so much over the last 100 days, but I got so lucky there and fell and landed in the water. But anyway, I now had all the Archangels I could get in the allocated time. I had seven incubated eggs. It was going to be epic. I had seven chances to get a rare Archangel Dragon. Day 199. I actually cannot believe it. I went over and grabbed all seven of the incubated Archangel eggs and got ready to hatch them. Diablo. Yeah. Basically, I start hatching these things. Diablo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and nothing. I had one chance left. I was getting so nervous, but then... Oh man, I got so lucky. Check this out, I got the rare variant. Diablo 7 was in fact a rare dragon. A rare archangel. I was so happy, bro. Insane. The reason I call this guy Diablo was because basically it is like a fallen angel. Kind of like a devil situation. That's why I wanted this rare. What a majestic dragon. What a day. Man, I got so lucky. So there you have it, 
Day 200. I cannot believe it, guys. We actually made it all the way to day 200. Absolutely insane. The success of my first 100 days is all down to you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you are, in fact, going on to enjoy this video as well. These videos take so much time to make, but it is definitely worth it because they are so much fun. Yes, my dragons are going crazy right now trying to kill each other, but hey, what are you going to do? But anyway, guys, make sure you smash a like rating on this video if you did enjoy. Also, make sure you share it with all your friends. Everybody needs to see this thing. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and how I got on. Also, go check out this mod for yourselves. The Dragonfire mod is available to download from Tiny Turtles Patreon. I will leave all the links you need down in the description below. I got my man up to level 100 here. Poseidon, I kind of have a soft spot for him. I then went ahead and made a little red piece of glass to make my beacon red because, you know, that's my color. Yeah, a good way to end. But that's it, guys. We had the most epic adventure. 200 days of pure dragon Minecraft bliss. I had so much fun. Hope you did. But until next time, I'm out. Peace!